Amaste guys, today I want to tell you about one cool add-on for Blender, where I participate as a designer, about Zen UV. As you may know, working with UVs is not Blender's greatest strength. However, in the developer's roadmap, the UV's direction is marked as one of the priorities. But now we have what we have. Third-party programs such as Rhythm and UV Layout are much better in this field, but they are expensive and heavy. Meanwhile, a lot of add-ons are trying to fix this situation in Blender. Zen UV is one of them, and looks like a good solution of those tasks. Zen philosophy is about focusing on the current moment. Zen UV helps focus on the making UVs for your models. Speed up and simplify this process. Meet Zina, the official Zen UV's mascot and our test model. The model is simple but quite typical. We'll delete existing UVs. The add-on will do everything by itself. So, Zen UV is designed for different unwrapping approaches. Someone starts with auto UVs and then corrects details that are not amenable to machine intelligence. Someone unwraps the model carefully, part by part. First, let's have a look at semi-automatic option. We switch to edit mode, because the add-on works only this mode. In this case, nothing should be selected on the model. We call the pay menu with assigned keyboard shortcut Alt plus U by default. Click then unwrap. Select the first menu item, automark and unwrap. Add-on will analyze the model and based on the angel sharpness and other signs, it will mark and unwrap the model. Turn on the checker display to check UV's quality. Checker texture toggle. Of course, miracle do not happen and search moment will have to be correct by hand. To simplify this process, Zen UV has some awesome tools. You need to learn how to work with them. Call the Pi menu, Alt plus U, and remove your hands from the keyboard. Move the cursor around the buttons. Some have additional commands. They can be seen in the tips. For example, if you press the Select Islands while holding Alt, you get the Select Overlapped Islands command. Select all intersecting and twisted parts on the UV map. Select Overlapped Islands. Press and hold Alt. Now isolate those islands and parts of the mesh. Isolate Islands. So, now we need to cut off this head and make cuts on the cylinders. Select the desired edges and make Zen Unwrap. Beautiful. Select any edge and press Isolate Islands toggle to return the hidden parts. Turn off the checker. Having switched to the object mode, we see the wrong sharp edge. By default, Zen UV marks the edge as seams and as sharp edges. This behavior can be configured in the add-on panel. Find it in the end sidebar. Don't forget, the add-on works only in edit mode. All Zen UV commands are gathered here. And here are the marking settings. Remove the check mark from seams. Select the excess sharp and click unmark. At the bottom, there are settings for displaying edges. Uncheck show seams. They are red. And see that we removed the excess sharp blue. Return seams display and marking. You can do this by not touching the side panel. Just open Zen UV pop-up menu. By default, this is Shift plus U. Now let's triangulate the model. And check the smoothing. The smooth mode switch has two modes. Full smoothing and smoothing based on sharp edges marking. Well, that's alright. We can try to repack our UV map with better settings. They are pack settings in the sidebar. You can set space between islands and average island scale. 
By default, the Blender packaging algorithm will be enabled. But if you are a lucky owner of the add-on UV Packmaster 2, you can use its algorithm. It will pack much denser using the internal openings of the islands. It was one of the ways to unwrap the model. But uh, some users have their own pipelines and then UV takes into account their needs. For example, a sequential unwrapping of individual elements. In the settings, you can enable the mod to work with selected parts of the model. Selected only. And the offset mod of the unwrapped islands. Islands offset. Select the central element. Press L. And isolate it. Shift plus H. Select the cylinder head and unwrap. Now select the two rings on top and unwrap them. The previous islands moved to the left and the new one unwrapped. Select the cover on top. Unwrap. Well, select the seams on the cylinders. Unwrap. Note that the UV itself determines the boundaries of the islands you are currently working with. Wow! Now you can select everything and pin the finished islands to not accidentally spoil them and immediately see what is already unwrapped. This function, as can be seen from the tooltip, is called by the mark button with Ctrl pressed. We call the Pi menu, release the case, hold down Ctrl and use the pin islands command. The islands are shifted up and fixed. In this case, the mesh is marked as ready. Turn on the display of the pinned islands in the sidebar. Return the display of height and geometry, Alt plus H. Choose other parts of the model and hide the rest. Unwrap them and pin. So gradually unwrap the entire model, pin, check and pack. Then UV also work with triangulated models. So, what else? Let's go over the entire Zen UV panel. The two upper buttons are made for the convenience of assigning hotkeys to the pay menu and pop up Zen UV menus. Right click, change shortcut, and set your keyboard shortcut. Next comes Zen Unwrap and its settings. Is it necessary to mark the edges when aftermarking and the way to work with the mesh, in whole or in stages? Below is the marking block, automatic marking with angel adjustment. Moreover, the changes in angel is immediately displayed on the model. Mark, unmark, unmark all and marking options. Next come marking converters. Section with islands straightening. For example, here some islands look like bagels. The quadrify function allow you to strain them. They can be automatically locked and packaged. Below is the pack checkbox. Indentation settings, scale and pack algorithm. Block with extra buttons. The selection and isolation of the islands, the identification of intersections, and the allocation of the rings of edges bounded by seams. That is a loop from seam to seam. Pins block, pin, unpin, and switch displaying the pinned islands. Checker and smoothing. Below settings, fit UV size to the window and display of all options of marking the edges. Reset all Zen UV settings to default state. At the bottom, you can see the help block. Links to the official documentation and Discord channel. The guys continue work on Zen UV and promise new cool futures. Recommended for your day-to-day -day work. All links in the description.
and bye bye for everyone.